Penn State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. He's going to try and scramble. No one open, so he's going to run. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. They'll work the right side, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Pressure coming. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Brought down right around the 22-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? So this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. From the 22-yard line, first down. Tackle around the 21-yard line. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. That's good for a game five yards. That'll bring up third and four. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. The running back gets two on the carry. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Run there. With the carry. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled at the seven yard line. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. He's taken down at the one-yard line. Touchdown, Buckeyes! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A long 15-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 7-0. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive.
get to that quickly. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Got it, and brought down immediately. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. The play-action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. A nice play. The middle. That's a game of five on the way. That'll bring the it's third down, inches. and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Red two. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 30, and they push him out around the 25 yard line. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. Gain of two yards. That, that makes, makes it, it second, second and eight. eight. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. My five, my five. Right to that. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Red two. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Penn State to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Number three brings him down the 37-yard line. First down. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. They'll bring him down at the 47. Game 10 yards. Third down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Gets to about the 41-yard line. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Tied right, tied right. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Set, kill, kill. Raider, Raider. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. First down.
gets out to about the 11 yard line. Got a man open touchdown. got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they make the stop at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Mike five, Mike five. Red two, accident seven. Good outside run there. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings us second and five. the ball right. He lost the ball. It's picked up by the defense. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt him? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ohio State is up by a touchdown. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. a great tackle at the 30-yard line. The halfback loses about one on the option. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Ohio State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He has some room. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 43. From 
their own 43 yard line. It's second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 48. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Here he goes. Nice grab on the play. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he is drilled at the 21. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And this is the eighth play of the drive. run and he's brought down. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. From the 17 yard line. Second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown Penn State. That was a well drawn for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 17-14. The Buckeyes right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle around the 44-yard line. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second and seven. Ball on the 44-yard line. Ohio State is up a field goal. He's on the run. He's brought down in the open field. He's scrambling. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 39. That's a deal 16. That makes it first and 10. Blue 80. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at the 25. First and 10. He scrambled. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Scrambling around, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. 
and he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. We've played a half of football here. Ohio State's got a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they have breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses, too. They're not a cheap day. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean. You know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get you know beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can you can uh, go ahead and say check, please, right over here, because that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, Mom, Dad, please send money. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some ash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Mike five, Mike five. Black five. Go out to the receiver. Now, around the six-yard line. Around the 46 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Big opening. He makes his way to about the 42. out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 41. From the 41 yard line. Second down. My five, my five. Green nine, green. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five. Got it and brought down immediately. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They 
takes it up the middle for a nice run. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pressure and brought down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down to the 14 yard line. From the 14 yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the four-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he's taken down right around the four-yard line. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Tosses it out. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Ohio State's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Ohio State is up by three. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game. Of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, watch number five. Number five. Watch number five. Get out. Seven. Yellow seven. Pick the edge. Pick the edge. Come down. Brought down at the 46-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it second and two. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. It's second and 13. Ball on the 35-yard line. He goes at the 24. Call it a game of 11 yards. That'll make it 31. Gets out to about the 21. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it first and 10. Ohio State has a three point lead. Raider, Raider. 
He makes it to the 18-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchdown. Ohio State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. An offensive showcase through three quarters. Will either team slow down in the final stanza? Ohio State's lead is six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. My five. Red two. Green eight. Motion. Motion. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Five's the mic, five's the mic. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's got it. with room to run. He's tackled in the open field. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 49. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 11. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's on the run. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. And he adds the extra point. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Ready! Green 95! Green 95! He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 38. 
Pollard and Hammond with 15 yards. First down. Slings it. He's tackled at the 43 yard line. Reception. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. That brings him second and five. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 46. Number 38 brings him down at the 46 yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 30. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Pretty obvious passing down here. They're faced with third and long. And he's immediately tackled. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll bring him down around the 14-yard line. And here's another third down. So a running play on third and long nets them very little yardage. Now you can't do that when you're losing a ball game. Now's the time to take your shots downfield. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. The Buckeyes and their team pretty happy with that field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. Well, I think you got to go back to the drive. Uh, the kick was clutch, but I think what the quarterback did and the offense did was even more impressive. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Nittany Lions were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Second and ten. Just over a minute left. Go for it. Throws this one out to the right. And he snags that one. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 34. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. They push him out at about the 23 yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. And that sets them up for the first and goal.
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Here comes the pressure. And they won't get the two. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buckeyes have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. Ohio State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down and six. Ball in the 29. Scrambling around. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Ohio State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He's got it, and we're all tied up. There's well, all this young guy has to do is split the uprights on this extra point, and these guys will be heading home victorious. A miss, and we have overtime. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. This could be it. The kicker's on the field, and they're just a chip shot away from victory. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Ohio State 37, Penn State 36. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Without question, this is a tough loss for these players. Penn State played a great game, and they should be proud. But I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. That wraps things up for us, Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.